DNA is a polymer composed of a sugar phosphate backbone and four base pairs. The bases adenine and thiamine always bond to each other. Guanines and cytosines similarly are always paired. The base pairs are commonly represented by their first letter, A, T, C, or G. Each phosphate group in the backbone links the 5' prime carbon on the sugar to the 3' prime carbon on an adjacent sugar. This gives each strand directionality. The two strands of the DNA are pointed in opposite directions and are thus oriented anti-parallel to one another. The sequence of the DNA, which here is C, G, A, and so on, is the order of base codes when traced through the molecule in the 5' to 3' prime direction. Because the two strands of a DNA are complementary, the sequence of one strand is defined by the sequence of the other. Therefore, we typically represent a double-stranded DNA sequence as if it were single-stranded. To know the sequence of the partner strand, we must calculate the reverse complement of the DNA sequence. To calculate the reverse complement of a sequence, we first complement the strand, so replace each base pair with its complementary base pair. G goes with C, and T goes with A, and so on. Notice that if we read our new strand left to right, we will be reading it in the 3' prime to 5' prime direction. We always represent DNAs as sequence in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. Thus we need to reverse the sequence. The combination of reversing and complementing a DNA sequence results in a representation of its partner strand.